Please claim. Please have a seat. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning. Hi, good morning to you. Uh, well, this is Mohamed Yassir, your ALS examiner. Can I know your name, please? Uh, my name is Akram al Uh Is that your nickname? No, uh, you can call me Akram. That okay, Mr. Nice. Akram. Uh, can I see your identification, please? Oh, here you are. Ah, that's great. Okay, Mr. Akram, where do you live? Uh, I live in Dhaka, which is of course the capital city of Bangladesh. Um, it's located in the center of this country, Bangladesh. Oh, that's really great. Okay. Uh, Mr. Akram, we will talk about uh, age. Is that okay? Yeah, okay, no problem. Oh, okay, that's great. Uh, are you happy to be the age you are now? Yes, the answer is balanced, I should say. I can go for yes and no. Uh, sometimes I feel yes, I'm really, I feel proud for that, having this stage. Uh, sometimes it's really, really painful when all kind of responsibilities and challenges I have to go through. But uh, I'm okay with that, no problem. I think it's good. Mm, okay. When you were a child, uh, did you think a lot about your future? Uh, well, normally the country I belong to, from the very first stage of, of our age, the kind of things, future and all kind of unexpected journey, are uh, injected in our brain. So we tend to, uh, we tend to, yes, plan for the future. Uh, the more we grow up, the kind of tendency grow high. So I think, yeah, we start to think about future. Oh, that's great. Okay. Uh, do you think you have changed uh, as you have got older? Of course, I think so. I did uh, change myself because the world actually compelled me to change myself. Sometimes no one actually wants to get older. It is all other the world, the very natural thing. We need to be older. So yes, this is it. I got changed a lot of things. Uh, what will be different about your life in future? Why? Of course, a lot of things I have planned for my future, especially if I would like to talk about my career. That would be the first thing. Uh, I would like to see myself as a successful entrepreneur. So I think a lot of changes I have to make for that. And yes, this is the admin thing. That's great. Okay, let's talk about money. Is that okay? Uh, no problem. Everyone okay. Loves it. Uh, when you go shopping, do you prefer to pay for things in cash or by card? I want to be on trend. So it demands of modern world to use uh, technology. So yes, card is my first preference for that. That's right. Uh, do you ever save money to buy special things? Yeah, I did for uh, many times. Uh, especially when I was a kid, I had the tendency of saving money for uh, buying something especially. You know, it's a kind of very childish job, so I did it. Yeah. Uh, would you ever take a job which had low pay? No, I'm afraid not. Why? Uh, because I think I deserve a uh, good remuneration, so I that's why I didn't go there. I think yes, my quality supports something better. Uh, okay, now uh, at this moment, now Mr. Akram, I'm giving you a task card, yeah. and uh, you you can take note for one minute. Uh, here is a pencil, and uh, you you have to talk about that topic for two minutes. Oh, here no you go. problem, no problem. Thank you. Shall I start? Yeah, you can. Please. All right, uh, the topic is uh, the recent technology, electronic device I started to use. Uh, well, the thing is a laptop, I should say. Uh, I'd like to start with uh, the structure. And first, as far as it was a very challenging job for me, I was not that uh, techy, but I started to change the mentality. And when I got it in my hand and I started to understand the importance of that thing in my life, most importantly, it helped me learn a lot of things, you know. I love learning and teaching English, so in that case, the laptop, it's really a very perfect and very important, uh, I should say, it's an integral part of my life. 
I got to know a lot of things through it. I can even listen to lecture from Oxford University, of course, which is very far from my country. So distant learning and a lot of other things uh, became very much easier for me. And if I have to talk about the challenges I faced with that device, that would be yes, sorting out. As you know, the flooding of information uh, on YouTube and Google. So we have to be very selective and we need to filterize which one is okay and which is not okay. So I, at first I started to uh, struggle with those kind of challenges, but with the time I, I got the kind of maturity, now I'm okay with that. I think yes, that would uh, help us to change our life in a greater way if we can use those kind of device uh, very positively and all kind of uh, electronic device do have positive and negative things so it's all about the user and the intention of the user how to use it so this is all about the things i uh, i should say oh that's great uh we'd like to talk about technology yeah. and education no problem. Uh, okay, uh, what is the best age of children to start computer lessons? Well, I think there is a controversy over it. People, some people might say, yes, we should start uh, teaching technological things, I mean, computer and other device at the early stage that will help them learn the things, that will help them to get familiarized with the things uh, at their very beginning. But some other people might say something opposite. They might say, well, it will, it will derail them, it will disturb their education. I think, yes, for as the world is being technology uh, oriented so uh, day by day, so we can start it. But there should be a guidelines to, and mm. monitoring as well. That's yes. good, okay. Uh, do you think that schools should use more technology to help children learn? Yeah, of course, I believe, I support it. And I myself also practice it when I, as I said earlier, I love to teach English. So when I am in my class, I, I love to use all kind of technological things, tools uh, like projector and com computer, all that thing. I think it helps, it, it has good help. So yes, school can incorporate in their syllabus. Uh, that's great. Okay, Mr. Akram, uh, do you agree or disagree that computers will replace teachers one day? Yeah, it's a buzzword, it's a very common thinking. Some teachers start to think like that, it will uh, replace their job. But I don't think so. Uh, yeah, still, human is human. And this kind of technology, it ha they have good limitations as well. Without human brain, uh, those kind of things are very tough to operate. So, uh, yes, human has, they have some of their roles. Technology will they play their part. But I don't think so that technology will replace humans. Not exactly. Uh, okay, Mr. Akram, uh, that's the end of your speaking test. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much.